Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another video on body plot. And here we'll be solving practice problem 14.3. So straight away on the question, this is the transfer function given. We have to plot uh, this transfer function. Now we have learned earlier in the previous video as well that uh, the transfer function can be written in or has to be written in standard form. So this is the normal form right here. Here we have to convert it into standard form, and this can be done by taking z1 common from here. So let's see. Okay, so this one from here we took two common. So it will be one plus j omega divided by two. And from the bottom one, we take 10 common, so it is 1 plus j omega divided by 10. Now you can see 5 into 2 is 10, and 10, so 10, 10 cancel. So this is our uh, simplified transfer function, which we need to plot. Now this is in phasor form. Uh, we have, in phasor, we have a magnitude and angle, same here. So we'll take magnitude of this, so this is the magnitude and the angle uh, uh, as we know that for this it will be 10 inverse omega over 2 for g omega it is because it is in the denominator it's pole so with the negative sign uh, 90 degree and for this we have 10 inverse omega over 10. Now again if you don't understand this I'll give a reference to my previous video you can go and have a look and you can uh, there it is explained in details. Okay, now uh, we convert this into a dv. So this is, uh, for dv we just take 20 log of the thing, so 20 log of this. Denominator will be minus, so minus 20 log g omega, and minus log, 20 log this term. And now we will plot them. And the angle, of course, angle remains uh, same. 10 inverse omega by 2 minus 90 and 10 inverse uh, omega by 10. First, we'll plot the magnitude. So we take a, a log, logarithmic graph. And the starting or the origin is 0 0.1. The end is 1, 10 times. And then again 10 times, so it's 10, again 10 times, so 100, so this way it proceeds. And on the vertical axis is the linear, so we take this to be uh, 20 dB, and the bottom is also uh, negative 20 dB. So on this graph, we will make the first plot, first of all. Now we have learned that for um, in the numerator, if we have one, plus j omega z, this is called the zero, whatever is on the numerator. Then we can plot it like this, that the zero point, left of zero point, uh, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, zero point, which is we are calling z here. So left of it will be zero. Now in our case, the z or the corner frequency, actually this is called, is two. Now this is one, this point is two. So left of this will be zero. And from here, we will plot 20 dB per decade. So let's, let's see, this is zero. How did we make it 20 dB per decade? That is important to understand. So from two, we go 10, 10 times, so it will be 20. So 20 will be uh, somewhere here. This is 10, so this is 20. So this is 10 dB, and then we have to go, uh, uh, sorry, not 10 dB, this is a decade. And then we have to go 20 dB. That is how it will become 20 dB per decade. So from here, if we go up, this is 20 dB, 20 dB line. And now we connect this, so this portion will be 20 dB per decade, or 20 log 1 plus j omega 2. Next, we come to the uh, bottom line, uh, the negative portion, simple j omega. Let's see the next slide. We were up to here. 
We have also learned that if it is a simple g omega, either in the numerator or denominator, it will pass through point number one. The origin will be at, uh, or the zero point will be at one. Now, since this is in the pole, it will be downward side, negative side. So, our uh, one point is this. This is our one point, this point here. So, from here, we will... Uh, from 20 dB, we'll draw a line like this up to the next 20 dB. So let's see. Okay, so at 1, we are drawing a 20 dB line. Again, same technique, 10 or uh, a decade here and 20 up. So this will be 20 dB per decade down. Okay, so the second point is done. And now we go to the third point. Now the third point, you see, uh, this will be the third point. It is negative, uh, uh, sorry, this one, negative 20 log 1 plus j omega 10. So 10 is the corner frequency. So at corner frequency, before corner frequency, it will be 0. And at the corner frequency, it will be 20 dB per decade. So 10 times and 20 dB down. So this is the complete uh, graph. And now we will add them so let's start from here this is zero line and this is 20 line so it will be the same result till such time there is a change or the change is at this point so up to this point we just draw the straight line so up to two we draw the straight line now at the change point what is happening uh, the the amount going down the same amount is going up that is 20 db uh, down and 20 dB up. That means these will cancel. At this point, both will cancel, so it will be like a straight line. It will not go up, not go down, and it will be a straight line up to the next chain, up to point 10. So, up to point 10, we draw a straight line. And then what will happen? Now this and this is cancelling, but there is a new term going down. And therefore, from this point, we will have a line going down. So this is the line going down. So this is our magnitude plot. And the answer in the book is a similar couple of points they have noted, but we have the same graph. Now we come on to the angle plot. The angle plot, one point we have to keep in mind, whether it is going up or down, whatever is the corner frequency, we go one-tenth down and we go ten times up. One-tenth down before that will be zero. Ten times up after that, it will be 90 degree. And the slope will be between these two. So in our case, in the first case, it is corner frequency 2, so 10 times down will be 0 0.2 somewhere here. So up to up to 0.2, that means from here to 0.2, it will be a straight line. So it will be a straight line. And then 10 times of 2, that is 20. So this is, this is 10, this is 20. So up to 20, uh, it will be slope. And then after that, it will be 90 degree line. Now the scale, this one is same, only the vertical scale we have changed. We are calling this 90 degree plus, this is calling 90 degree minus. So this is the first plot. The next plot is minus 90 degree. So we just draw a minus 90 degree line. And the third plot is again uh, negative with corner frequency 10, so corner frequency uh, 10, 10 times down is 1, and 10 times up is 100. So we plot the third one. Uh, before 1, it will be 0. After 100, it will be again 90 degree or negative 90 degree. And we uh, uh, close this line to make the slope. So all three angles have been, uh, have been plotted. And now we'll just add them. So you see this is 0 and this is 90. So up to this point, it will be uh, minus 90. Minus 90. 
and then what is happening this is zero but this is now going up so our line will follow that will go up and we have shown a dashed line but this will go up up to the next change it is changing here so here what will happen now uh, this is going down and this is going up so it will cancel so at this point we will have a straight line till the next change now this is the next change so let's see so we have a straight line till the next change here and now at this point what is happening is that we have a uh, 90 degrees so this 90 and this 90 cancels only this slope will remain so we will have the slope drawn and after that what will happen this 90 and the green 90 will cancel and the blue 90 is still present there so we'll have this also in red so this is also in red so this is our angle plot and the answer in the book is similar so i hope you have been able to follow this please let me know through your comments and share it with your friends thank you